All right, welcome back to another special episode of Guild Wars 1. We are joined once again by the great Slash, who is a Guild Wars 1 uh, vet and enthusiast and viewer of this channel. Uh, and all around, just great guy. We are continuing on with Sorrow's Furnace. This is going to be a different episode because obviously you can see how it is quite long. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a podcast of our failure our failed attempts. I was thinking, debating whether or not to upload it, but we have some really good conversations in it about Guild Wars in general. So, yeah, treat it like a podcast. Uh, maybe put it up in the background while you're doing something else. And, yeah, if you don't like it, feel free to skip. But if you do, enjoy. I will go something different also. I might, I might pull out the uh, Illusionary Weaponry. Beastmaster build. If you have illusionary weaponry, do you have a uh, sight to use? Uh, I'm using a sword and shield. Um, size might be good, but if you use I'm a using sight, the. It hits up to three enemies. That's true. But uh, yeah, I could try that. I've been using the anniversary shield to make me a little more tanky, but yeah, let me steal my let me steal Milani's scythe. What is she using? Uh, I'm gonna switch the sun knife or something else. I don't think we need a lot of interrupts. Things die fast enough. Okay, I'm gonna steal her scythe for this just to test it out. And bring in. Yeah, bring back Zed. They're really the only three henchmen I really have. I could get rid of Dunkoro and put in Talcora as a protection. But... Yeah. What is she running? Talcora is running this. It's not great, I don't think. But pretty what standard. What skills do you have? Uh, for Monk? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've I've got on this account, I've got pretty much all of them unlocked. Oh, okay. I have a like a sort of AOE healing build for monk. Okay. I tried to tinker with. Let me check it. I need another illusionary skill. I think one, two, three. Nah. Okay. I only have the necromancer healing. Yeah, I'll just stick with Dunkor. He did a pretty good job. Alright. What are you running now? Same thing? I'm gonna change as well because the spirits take too long to set up. Ah, uh, yeah. We were kind of running through stuff. So... I can go with a condition spam. Oh, okay. So you got poison, burning, bleeding, blind. Okay, we can do that. Then I'll go for agility. Um, and we have burning from Sosuke. Yep. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll add a necromancer. can have weakness as well. Weakness and cracked armor. Are you doing are you doing heavy interrupts also? <laughs> uh no. Okay. I'm not interrupting. Gotcha, gotcha. Then but it's the one that if they have conditions they take damage from ne necromancer heals. So um like there's Discord, or um, the you mean the Sun Spear skill, no, or no. Kurzik skill? Isn't there a hex or a curse that every oh. time they get a condition? Oh, that's fragility. That's yeah. That's what I'm gonna run. 
This yeah, one. Yeah, but the, the 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 same part, but then from for for necromancer. Right. Whoa. I don't know. And I'm gonna go. I guess I'll bring Resurrection Signet because I have no other. Oh no, I should this, bring it. Uh, does fragility affect all? Um, it uh, a target foe and adjacent foes. Oh, okay. So or it's a, it's an AOE hex, yeah. Pretty strong. Oh, I need to set my rune. And then, uh, what skill am I looking for? Healing skill. There we go. And I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep Cry of Pain because that's crazy strong. Yeah, that's what I'm running now. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. I know. So I'm able to put on Daze and Deep Wound. Elias is putting on Cracked Armor. So that's one, two, three. Um, yeah, I don't have any. And then you've got like four. Yeah, I think we have almost every... Every Yeah, I'm condition. also doing Weakness with the Necromancer. Okay, sweet. So that's another one. I think the only thing you don't have is a disease, but that's not really necessary. Yeah, I always I always blank. Like, is disease and poison, are they separate? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, so you can have both disease. of those conditions on it once? Yeah, most skills with disease are expensive because it spreads automatically to nearby. Uh-huh. But that's why we got oh, Fever this. Dreams. So this will be the last... Um, this will be the last Soros Furnace quest. I'm not sure what happens yeah. once you finish all of these quests, actually. Oh, I can do virulence. That's... Yeah, I, I love the fragility virulence combo. Disease, poison, and weakness, so we get the disease then. Mm -hmm. That's a really good spike. I used to do that with my, as my Mesmer player. I would run uh, Virulence as the elite skill, but I just feel like Fever Dreams is a little bit better for PvE. Because it, you, it, it spreads, it automatically spreads all other conditions to nearby foes, so. Mm-hmm. But virulence is really good for a single target burst. Okay, I'm just tuning the build right now. Yeah. On Elias or yourself? Uh, on Elias. Yeah, uh, my Elias is running Putrid Bile already, so I don't know if we want to... I can switch it out for something else. No, it's fine. I think if we have a... It's a 12 second cooldown, so it's, it's not bad to have a... Multiple? Like okay. You're still running a Minion Master, or not? Yeah, he's, he's using R of Lich still, and Bone Fiend. Okay. Maybe I'll add that Nova. Nice. 100 damage and poison. Yeah. I still have zero res, by the way. <laughs> just I'm, so you know. <laughs> yeah, just Dunkoro is running the res. <laughs> Living dangerously. Oh, I can do deep wound as well. That's good. Yeah, I got a deep wound also. With accumulated pain? Yep. what I'm running. 
just take signet of clumsiness. That's always good to have. Yeah, for sure. I I always I like using clumsiness and signet of clumsiness actually. Yeah, clumsiness is, is great as well. It's crazy. I like it better than running empathy actually. Yeah, empathy takes way too long to to do damage. Yeah, it takes too long to do damage, and the enemy is able to do damage the whole time. As well. I'm gonna add in Karata's aura as well, so if we have enemy minions or right, if right. minion master dies, my necro can take them over. Good call, good call. And searing flames for burning, and then the Duralyn's fragility. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do it. Wait, so wait, what's your build look like? Mine is this one. So, oh, this right. One. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You you actually, you don't need to bring Epidemic because I've got Fever Dreams. Oh, yeah. I can split up four. You could, you know, do whatever. Healing shot. Nice. I'm shredding. Yep, you can go. Okay. I'm getting elite ex or expert salvage kit real quick. All right, let's go. Where's this last guy? I don't remember where this guy's quest is, actually. Is it marked? Yeah, it's marked. Okay. It's just across. Oh, I guess he's down there by the entrance. All right. On these giant herders, because it stops their giant attack or whatever, their giant stomp. I know. Gosh. This, this is clearing fast. <laughs> this is gonna be really fast. Uh, where do we go? No chance of losing this one, I don't think. Unless we get a bunch of enemies that are immune to conditions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I mean, those golems, they are immune to quite a few conditions and we still did, yeah. all, did enough. Like, burning affects all enemies, I think. Mm -hmm. Weakness as well. Yeah, weakness, cracked armor. Oh, got some guys behind us. So many clumsinesses and interrupts and stuff going off. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we're going the fastest route, but we do have to come back around this way. So far, that High Priest Alcar is, was, has been the hardest quest. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that was tough. I still almost failed that one at the end. Do you, do you ever play any Guild Wars 2? I tried it, but it was yeah. so different than this one that I... Get into it. I know when the first when the game first came out I bought it and then I played it and then I didn't touch it for years I had it I was building it up so hard in my head because I just wanted Guild Wars 1 with a little bit better graphics new skills but exactly that ruined it. 
by taking out the one element that makes <laughs> Guild Wars 1 unique, having all the skills av available. <laughs> I know. They did they did do a good job. Like there is quite a lot of customization that you have to kind of find out. But it takes a while to get to that level and it's still nowhere near as close as Guild Wars 1. Like as far as experimentation and stuff goes. Really made me sad. <laughs> right. But I I think um I think Guild Wars 1 was kind of a nightmare for them as far as balancing and stuff, but from a player standpoint, there's there's just never going to be another game like this. Yeah, true. And even I know they try to balance things like the first time Shadow Form came out. Yeah. That every farm basically got super easy and I understand that you need a little bit of balance in that. Right. But in general, it's still just fun, even if there's a skill that's a little bit better than others. Especially know, because most people like this game for, like, yeah. PvE. Even though yeah. PvP is pretty popular, but... It, it was, but I don't think that that was the, the, the biggest chunk of players that liked PvP. Alright, is there another person I talked to? It says find, or sorry, help Orozar Highstone. But I've already done this Galen Trask mission. Um, yeah, so I've already done this mission. Yeah, I think... They're all repeatable, repeatable, right? Yeah, so I don't, I don't think I need to do this Galen Trask mission. I need to, I need to find Orozar Highstone. That's the only one I haven't done. But I don't know where he's at. The, in the back. Come on, green yeah, item. I, I no. Think I know where he is. Okay. Yeah, we might have to do some exploring. Ores or a high there, Near the troll cave. Ah, uh, okay, okay. There he is. Good call. We, yeah, we are just built to destroy <laughs> melee. They didn't even get a single attack off. I think there's another chance for it. Oh yeah, let's do it. This this hammer is actually really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect, right? Yeah. It has armor penetration. Very, very um. Solid hammer. Let's go, green drop. No. <laughs> oh. I mean, the odds of dropping in a full eight man party is pretty slim. Yeah, if it was eight people, then we probably right. true, true, true. would see a drop, but <laughs> with the amount of heroes. It's a small chance. Okay, so we go up here, talk to him. This is another mission. I don't think I've ever done this one, actually. He is Minister of Affairs. My brother is chosen to decide. Okay. And then I don't yeah, I don't know what happens after after we complete all these quests. You get any trophy or anything? <laughs> get the uh, ten thousand experience. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> it's kind of weird that it's just experience, no gold. I think this was the setup to teach people 
where the green items are. Yeah. I remember when this came out, it was such a cool thing. It's like, whoa, it's like a full expansion. You don't have to pay for it. It's not quite that big, but still. It's pretty impressive. I also think the, the developers never meant for skins to be the, the pure endgame content. So I think green items were intended to be like the peak. Yeah, they didn't expect people to care about aesthetics. And yeah. then now it's like all people care about. Mm -hmm. And green items are basically for your, your heroes. Right. Or well, trying to find the, the rarest skin. <laughs> yeah. Perfect stats, lowest requirement drops. But, I mean, they kind of asked for it because they built the game not around gear. They made it, they made, they wanted to make the game not like super grindy but to be fair that's what i really like about it like, i know not like world of warcraft having to do the same raid over and over hoping for and then each expansion they just up. raise the ex the item level so you have to do the grind all over again mm -hmm. well here you can basically have a player run you to a max uh max outpost somewhere where you can buy the the highest level armor yeah <laughs> that did kind of take the fun out of it like all all the characters that i had like run i usually ended up deleting them because i would just not feel any attachment towards them at all yeah. i made a rule that i can't buy armor unless i've played the game until that whoa okay or, or well so if i make yeah. a new character i have to play the game until you get to the outpost that has that specific type of armor well even like um well he's about to die um even like elite uh tomes though i felt like those really take the fun out of capturing elite skills mm -hmm. to be fair they have such low drop rate in hard mode right that it's, it's still hard to get them Oh, the elite skills? Yeah, the elite. Yeah. yeah. Now by the sun summer. going on see you in the underworld okay so we need to protect we just need to protect him but well, what's he doing there we go we, f we need to follow him his priest of sorrows is healing our minions <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to protect them. So okay, yeah. okay. Look at those numbers. I love to see those numbers. So many. All well, the Priest of Soros is getting... He's taking, tanking for us. It's crazy damage, man. Yeah, we can just stay up here. Basically let him come. I mean, yeah, later on whenever you, these kind of these kind of like defend the area, they're you can just AFK with your heroes. Once you get them all decked out. That's just insane damage. Yeah, Older beard. Disgusting. 
Don't Coro, don't die. Initial damage and fragility and then just the regen of all the conditions. Oh I know. Well and then and then they have the effects of the conditions just draining all their health and damage and defense. Okay. Incoming, look alive. Where's he coming from? Okay. Oh, you got that site covered. Nice. Yeah. We both have a healer, so it should be fine. Right. Oh. Yeah, we might need to group up a little bit tighter here. My necromancer died, so we lost all of our all of his minions. Is it the last wave you said? I think so. I'm not sure. Gosh. Never gets old, man. I wish there was a setting you could see like all of your team's numbers. Damage numbers. What? Did he resurrect the boss? Yeah, he just resurrected the boss. What the heck? I've never seen that. Doing it again. It's that Priest of Sorrows. Take him out. Yeah. Yeah, they're not getting close to uh, our NPC though. Ray goes. Oh, he has the. He's got like one of the best green drops he here, I think. Ray goes staff, right? Yeah, the fire staff. Oh, yeah. That thing is crazy. Of course, he doesn't drop it. Have a second chance maybe <laughs> yeah it'd be cool if they drop if they if they uh drop items again after you that will be so exploitable though. i know <laughs> you just not yeah you'd have to not touch the precious sorrows all right that was it easy so He's got another quest, it looks like. Yeah. Oh. Noble intentions, plan B. Find Ural Highstone. Keep Orozar Highstone alive as he leads you to the exit of Soros Furnace. Alright, we might as well do this one too, right? Yeah, sure, sure. It's an escort again, so we have to... Okay. Be close. I'm trying to keep up here. Wow, 
Why is he so fast? Of course he just runs directly into them again. Oh, behind us. Okay, good. He's sticking with us at least. And Deep Wound is also a good one against these golems. Mm -hmm. Deep Wound in general is pretty great. Yeah. It reduces healing as well, right? It? Yeah, it reduces healing. It uh, reduces max HP. Agility spike happens. It's, it's insane to see their health bar go. <laughs> you can see exactly when it happens, right? <laughs> yeah. And the screen just lights up with so many numbers. Here we go. Was that it? I think we have to get him out of here now, too. Keep Orazar Highstone alive as he leads you to the exit of Sars Furnace and bring the shackled Ural Highstone with you. Okay. So shackled, so I bet he's gonna become aggressive. Yeah, he's gonna be unreluctantly coming. Take your last look at this miserable place and let's go. Ooh, another cutscene. Ha <laughs> 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 Uh, it looks pretty goofy. Yeah, that's well, ch cheap animation. Yeah. Oh, one of us will have to carry him. It's oh be my him. gosh. Yeah, that'll definitely be me. I can't attack without a bow, so... <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, let's keep him alive. He's in a hurry to leave us here. Is he just running Pat Nolly? Yeah, seriously. That looks really funny. <laughs> when you cast skills with him <laughs> attached to your head. Yeah, let me get a I I gotta get a better view of that. <laughs> That's oh cool. no. Oh, we need a gear. Okay, I'll, I'll go get it. Oh there's a gearbox over there. get the gearbox. Yeah, I'm pulling a little <laughs> little baby, exactly. It looks so goofy. And the dwarf's head is massive. His <laughs> head is, like, bigger than my torso. All right. Oh, we're attacking these guys down here. <laughs> yeah, I just like fling him around one arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> That's definitely going to be a thumbnail. <laughs> this little tied up dwarf, <laughs> yeah. the YouTube thumbnail. That's a great thumbnail. <laughs> Gearbox. Probably gonna need it anyway. Oh, I can't. Okay. I guess not. Oh, you couldn't take that one? No, it's empty. Oh, it's pretty 
game so fast, please. Let's oh, wow. Oh, us. my gosh. This is a dangerous part. Yeah, this is tough. If we aggro the entire yeah, we thing, it's going to be annoying. We need to stay on the left side here. He might be dead. Yeah, I think we lost it. No, 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 no. Heal, heal, heal. Oh. Dang. So... Uh, if I we... hate escort missions. Yeah. So we... Yeah, I lo so we lost. Ah. Uh, so we have to do it again. Dang. Yeah, we have to do the entire thing again. <laughs> you have to do both parts. Uh, okay. I might need to stop here, actually. It's getting a little bit late. Yeah, it's fine, man. Uh, but yeah. It's fun, uh, fun playing. Yeah, it was fun. I was hoping to turn this... I think I'm going to turn this into a two-parter, so if we can meet up again some other time we can do the second part is orizor yeah, sure. high stone um yeah i usually come on around this time uh, mm -hmm. but yeah let's let's do it again sometime though. let's see so last we already did one attempt of this uh it's the orizor high stone and mm -hmm. failed pretty hard I made an upgrade to Elias' skills. Okay. I'm bringing in incoming and fallback. It's kind of a standard minion master build, right? And what uh what what are the minions you're bringing? Oh, okay. You are not in the party yet. Now you're in the party. Okay. Let me share it again. There we go. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's good. Good one. And then you have Elias set as a healer, right? Oh no, what what is he running? You're you're, you're doing a mesmer alternate. Uh, he's the bip one and healer. Oh, nice. That's weird. On we my... were doing conditions, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, I changed my build. I'm I'm kind of playing with this glyph of renewal that I was using in. Uh, pvp it was kind of fun and i think if i use with arcane echo i can get like triple chaos storms going it might be kind of fun definitely and we have speed boosts now so that should work yeah um, i have the searing flame spam and this is the condition spam as well so weird because on my screen it shows your Elias is a Necro Mesmer. Yeah, but there's two Necromancers in my party. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So that Virulence build is pretty sweet. Oh, he. So he's gonna be running Fragility. I've never thought about doing that. Just put the just put Fragility on the Necro. That makes sense. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. All right, very good. And very then cool. the that Nova for the minions as well I put in there. Okay, then maybe if you're going to be running Death Nova, I shouldn't do Bone Bone Fiend. I should be going with a melee because we'll want them Yeah, that was close. the last time when uh you were doing um or of the Lich. So I might just swap that Nova out. Okay. Or something else. So because just... we need the incoming and fallback to keep up with the right, right, right. The NPC. So I'll just keep uh... Bone Fiend then, I guess. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what could you put instead? Maybe it's illusion I have as well, so I could go. He's got. Weak. Do you have a, a a deep wound one? Uh, I can I can put. Oh, that's an illusion. Accumulated. I'll pain. just take accumulated pain. If then you don't have to change your build. Oh, just to just to have the um, deep wound. Yeah. I need another hex then, because I need it needs to be suffering from two or more hexes. But it has putrid bile and fragility, so ah, it okay, it should be covered then. All right, then I will run that instead of shatter enchantment, since I already have drain enchantment. 
Okay. And then I'll be sure to cast Empathy first with uh, with uh, Accumulated Pain. All I right. think we have almost all conditions then. Yeah, I've got the Deep Wounds. Myolias is bringing weakness. Uh, what is yours bringing? He's got... Uh, cracked armor, cracked disease, armor. poison, weakness, deep wound as well. Okay. And I have burning with the elementalist and myself, poison as well, bleeding as well, and blinded as well. Alright, we got them all covered. Sweet. Shall we hit it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to get, I want to get this quest. I wanted another shot at this quest. I was thinking about doing going over to Nightfall, but it's like we gotta finish what we started here. Yeah, we can't fail this. <laughs> We're veterans. Oh, I totally failed that. Well, the, the, the biggest problem is just the NPC running away from us and, and then dying in a group of enemies. I know. We have to keep up with them. I'm, I think I'm going to include, like, the f part of our failed attempt in the video just to kind of see our adapt ad adaptation. What's the Adaptability. word? Adaptability. Adaptability. Yeah, it's like, what's the word? I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, I like that you put the, the strategy after the video. Uh, yeah. I bet a lot of people like that as well. I mean, that's like the big part of the whole game is coming up with... Uh, it's like problem solving a little bit. Yeah. And especially because... Um, well... We, we were doing it not the... The... the super overpowered way right, so i bet right, that right. Um, for people as well not you oh yeah you take three mesmers and uh, two <laughs> ritualists and then you clear the game yeah we're doing it in a more old school way so that that should be fun as well that's what i'm ho that's what i'm hoping for oh that's it's always funny to me whenever you bring multiple of the same hero it's like it gives them this like most Super generic name like Crichton Necromancer. That's what my Olias is named right now. What is the Wayfarer's mark? Yeah, I was I gonna just... ask you. Um, I think there's a uh, event going on right now. Ah, okay. And apparently, you collect these, and then it says you can um, turn them into a collector. But I cannot. It says collectors in town for a reward. I cannot remember. For the life of me, which collector I need to go to, or what Let's kind of items? Up. Oh, I keep forgetting to use this cry of pain. Are we gonna get the yak slapper? Oh, I hope so. It's such a strong item for uh, uh monks yeah i remember buying one yeah, it had plus 60 hp right I, yeah it's something crazy very strong i am my my rotation of my skills is just terrible i'm yeah, all it's slow the with the storm right yeah well i need to i need to get the the, the order right and if I mess up the order, then it's like a really long cooldown. So I, I'll get it down. I'm practicing it. I was using this kind of build in uh, Fort Aspenwood, and it was pretty good against NPCs. So I figure it must be also not bad for PvE, but we'll see. Yeah, the problem is that the NPCs run out of Chaos Storm. Yeah, it seems like the AI is better in the real in, in the outside world than it is in the pvp environment because those guys yeah, in the pvp environment they have a fixed route they need to take ah 
But here they just run out of everything that's too big of an a AOE I spike. See. Yeah. So there's a there's an assassin necro build that's very easy to uh, to demolish those NPCs in, in uh, Fort Aspenwood. It's based on weak and knees and some curses that whenever something is moving it takes damage. Uh huh. And then you can just solo those those war turtles or do, or those um, big tree things because they're they're always gonna be it, it like abuses their their AI I guess. Yeah, they they always move so they they never stand still and then it's easy to kill them. There we go. I got my triple. And then I get the the recharge from the boss. Oh, that's perfect. If I can get like six chaos storms active at one time, if I did, if I play it all correctly, I totally forgot about this <laughs> glyph of renewal skill. It's very strong. It is, yeah. It's it's in in many ways it's better than the mesmer's echo because you can use it to basically double cast any skill that you want whereas echo is like you're stuck with that spell that you uh clone it only has a 10 second cooldown which is insane it's really insane and i don't know if it's applied with my fast casting because it's it feels like it's shorter than 10 seconds for some reason but it doesn't you, you know it's an elite so you can't copy an elite where the arcane echo, you can copy anything. Right, right, right. That's true. But like, yeah, I'm getting, f I'm getting four chaos storms pretty easily, because by the time I ca I cast my my cloned chaos storm, I can my glyph of renewals up again, and I can just like reset it all again. Mhm. Mm and it's it's pretty cheap, right? Chaos Storm Chaos is only Storm five is energy. Ridiculously cheap. I think when the game first came out, I don't think it was five energy. I th I feel like it was like ten or fifteen. Yeah, I can't remember. But the spell the spell s seems really overpowered for only five energy. <laughs> yeah, because it does so many. It does AOE, and it does the energy loss on top of that. It's it it feels more like an elite skill, honestly. Mm -hmm. ah, I timed that so wrong. Uh, there's Orozar. Should we fill again? Then I'll hop on my uh, on my monk. I think. Oh yeah, and then you can just target heal, or uh, yeah, or sorry. keep him alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the, then the challenge is we have to stay alive. <laughs> that should be good. Yeah, and my Dunkoro build is pretty. It's it's just kind of slapped together. It's not. It's definitely not the most optimal healing build. Yeah, and heroes are really bad at targeted healing, so... Right, right, right. The prioritizing is all over the place. Staff, are you holding? Uh, it's a gemstone staff of fortitude. It's a 2020. Uh, uh. With a not perfect health uh, attachment. 25 bonus health. I need to get a perfect one. It's pretty close. Pretty close to perfect, though. I think I got this from the weapon from a collector in factions. And mm. it's kept me going. Oh, nice. A key. Um, I think there's an easy offhand that's perfect you can farm in, in factions. The fan or whatever is that? Oh no no, that one's a prophecy, isn't it? Um, okay. it's it's near. 
it's in the Kurzik territory. There's a, a boss that spawns close to the entrance of a of a Kurzik uh, city. Oh. And you just run out, kill the boss. If it doesn't drop, restart. It's a perfect offense for domination magic. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I like. And then you have a. Mm -hmm. You can get a collector's scepter somewhere that's also perfect. So then you have a 40 40 for domination. Oh, yeah, that would be good for spamming. I, I definitely prefer using the one handed weapon with offhand to the staff. But the staff is doing okay right now. Man, yeah, we're, we're flying whenever we have this incoming up, don't we? The problem is. You they also give it to Orozar. Yeah, so. I know. I was just thinking that. He's just as fast. <laughs> <laughs> we already had trouble keeping up with them, though. We made some. I made some bad calls in the last attempt because I was like getting distracted by drops and chests and stuff. And then as soon as I looked up, he was already like running down the hallway, like he's doing now. Yeah, we can we can maybe pick up stuff uh, once the quest is done, so we don't get sidetracked again. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they're definitely getting bursted down. Oh, but yeah, fragility's on the, the hero, so we can't see the numbers. That's the. That's the most satisfying part of running fragility builds. You see those numbers pop up. <laughs> Wasn't this the one where we have to carry the the guy? First, we have to defend him against these waves, and then. But we also carried one, right? That was the funny looking. Yeah, that's the second the part of this thumbnail one. idea you had. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail for sure. <laughs> Carrying him like a little dwarven baby. I'm gonna flag my heroes right about here, so we don't get to, uh... Uh... Okay. Oh, you're spreading them out a bit? Yeah, just on this, on this. They come from, they come from up here as well. That should be fine. I mean... We didn't really have a problem last time with this part. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of um, moved a little f too far away, and had a little s couple scares, but yeah, we got through it. We do have to um, target the priest first, right? Because they started rezzing the bosses as well. <laughs> yeah. If I remember correctly. <laughs> that was uh, that was scary. Honestly, I'm just casting. I'm casting nothing but chaos storms, and then they're just already Fine. deleted. That also means they keep moving and not not hitting us. Yeah. There's the priest. Wow, he's already resurrecting. Look at that. Life attunement and everything. Man, he the the priest, the enemy priest goes way far away. There we go. There we go. Very sneaky. And then the Glyphor Renewal, like, the uh, prep, or the, what do you call it, the uptime or whatever is 15 seconds. So you have 15 seconds to cast your spell, so you can pre-cast it really far in advance. Honestly, you don't even really need Arcane Echo if you do it correctly. A crippling Anguish is just destroying me. 
Oh, that's a pretty, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty crazy spell. That's a very strong elite skill, actually. Yeah. It's like five Good. energy, super strong Dijin, plus crippling. It's like, or movement speed. Couldn't get a single hit off. Kept getting interrupted because everything takes twice as long to cast. Oh, does it slow down casting time too? I had three, three uh, hexes on me, so oh, one of them, one of them did. did. <laughs> Come on, Rajo, give me your staff. Oh, I really want that staff. I think that should. I don't be the remember. Last one. No, not the last one. I think there's two or three more ways. Okay. I'm not mistaken. Taskmaster. Oh, we're getting pincered. That's right. We're getting good drops. Is there maybe an event oh, or something yeah, that's going on? Uh... That's a max offhand for illusion. Oh, uh, not great. Did you get a skill point or did your hero level up or something? I think a hero maybe. I didn't level up. Uh, I think it was a resurrect. Aha. So skill was dead. There we go. All right, so the first quest is done. It's pretty easy. It's just time consuming. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's One, not done. Two, no. There's... Oh yeah, there. There you are. No monk so far. There's The taskmasters are the mesmers. I got the priest. Nice. Oh, they got the resurrection of. Pressure on the priest. And he's so far away. Malanon, Thresh Hammer. I think this is a pretty good green drop, too. Can't really remember what it is. A hammer? Yeah, maybe. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only there was some way we could look it up. Okay, there we go. We get that 4,000 experience, though. That's so worth. Okay, so... Since money can't buy everything, guess we'll have to improvise. You continue to exist me? Yeah. I wonder why they divided it up into two quests like this. 
Yeah. Because I mean, I mean, you know, what would be the point of doing just that one part of it? Yeah, because if you go back, do you still have to accept this quest outside to get him in here? I think so. How does that work? Because like it's it's repeatable. Like we had to do it the second time, even though we completed it once. I mean, it's a good farming quest. True. Yeah, you, you get you get through all the bosses. Just, yeah, just you can stand, uh, stay still. And like Ray, uh, Rayjo or Rago, the the elementalist that has that drop. Normally, if you do it without the quest, you have to go like all the way to the um, that like mech boss thing. Like he's a pretty far in there boss. So as you do this quest, you get him right there at the beginning. Mm-hmm. You barely have to move. You just go inside and they come to you, so it's pretty it'd easy. Be, yeah, it would be hard to farm. You would need to have some players to try and pull it off with only, like, to get that, to get that drop. I think it's doable with four heroes, maybe. Right, if you have, like, min minion master, healer. Yeah, and a, an e surge mesmer. E surge, yeah. And yourself. I think it should be doable because they don't do a lot of damage. It's just the resurrects are gonna be annoying. Now you can hold your little baby again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little baby dwarf. Basically, he's saying he's not going to go home with him. But then he just kidnaps him. Oh, yeah, this was the funny cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> tries to run away. Looks like a little stone summit guy snuck up on us there. <laughs> I love it. Please, we have minions. All right, let me pick him up. Or minions even attack during cutscenes. There's he. He's going. He's running again. Oh my gosh. Like he doesn't really care. Why is he in such a rush? Yeah, th this is more like the Leroy Jenkins <laughs> quest. Oh, for real. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have too much trouble with that one actually. Okay, so we got the gearbox here. Oh yeah. I think I, right. I, I can just run it real quick. Wanna bring Elias with me though. That way I can catch back up. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Oh, where's he at? You got him? Oh, you got him. Okay, okay. <laughs> you take him. I, I can't attack. Right, like right, this. right. Try and get out. Yeah, we, we're, we're leave, leaving him in, in the dust there. He's way back there. So we should try and it's just good. Let's get let's get ahead of this thing. <laughs> yeah, we just need to try and clear some enemies. Leroy. We got the full morale boost after all those bosses. Um should we try and avoid or fight? What do you say? Let's fight. Yeah, I think we can blow them up. Gonna run up because there's another priest there. 
Yeah, he's he's really far behind us, so I think we can clear this out. I need, to, I need to drop him because he's there's a boss right here he's just lighting me up dang yeah we over aggro oh, there's another priest oh yeah we over aggro for sure we got two bosses on us or one oh and now elementals are coming oh my this is god interesting Oh, and the interrupts. Oh, man. Oh, we failed hard this time. <laughs> this is way worse. Yikes. I'm going to I'm going to bring a healer because this is hard to do with uh hero healing. Yeah. Oh, you're going to bring your monk, you mean? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go like E surge or something crazy. Or. Yeah. Migraine, maybe. Well, that was rough. Yeah. It's just. A hard choke point. There's like three patrols coming together there. Yeah. And then the priests are rezzing each other. It's, it's annoying. Healing should be fine with this. Yeah, maybe, maybe I need to go with uh, fire. Elementalist, but I don't, he's only level 19. Yeah, the cold damage and earth damage is not great. Mm. Hmm. Or Dervish, maybe we need some tanks? Yeah, that, that wouldn't be bad, especially if I'm healing. Yeah. Are you you running heals or protection? I'm gonna make a little combination. Okay. But it's not gonna be a lot of protection. I'm thinking about bringing my protection monk, and it has some condition and hex removal too. Yeah, sure. And then Lonnie is running Vow of Strength. Yeah, she's got a pretty good build. Yeah. This looks better. Seed of Life. That's gonna... Are you going to do the fragility again or no? Um, no. Nah. I okay. think the conditions is, is not bursty enough. Is there a, is there like a mantra or something that prevents interrupts? Uh, yeah, but it drains your energy. Oh, okay. I, I think called. every time it's in. Check with the Mesmer real quick. Persistence? No. Mantra of Frost might be nice. It's Mantra of Resolve. You cannot be interrupted, but each time you would have been interrupted, you lose 8 energy. That's kind of a lot. That's, yeah. You're basically... 
Shoot. not gonna cast anything then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might bring. Hmm. Um. Oh, I need some energy renewal. That's right. I'm not gonna run out of energy normally. Gonna bring a resurrect. I'm not gonna forget this time. Yeah, is there is there like a what's the best resurrect skill? Is it the ritualist one? Yeah, flesh of my flesh. Yeah. It's the lowest cast time and it only costs half your HP basically, so okay. it's one of the best. I'm gonna bring a, a normal resurrect though, because I don't plan on resurrecting during combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got some self heal I need to be better about using too. That should be fine. Okay, so you have a tank. Yeah, I'm, I switched to action. E surge. E surge, okay, so that's gonna be really bursty. What's your Elias is still the minion master? Yeah, same. And then my Dervish one. is going Vow of Strength. Vow of Strength, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. She, she might yeah, need yeah. something that increases her attack speed, actually. Can go Frenzy, maybe. Oh, really? Ooh. Living dangerously. But if if, if she can get Protector Spirit on her, that might be okay, right? I'm also running Seed of Life. Um, the third skill in my bar. Oh, okay. Nice. And healing burst is also really, really good. Yeah. Um, I think I might take a ritualist. Spirit spirit. Um, no, no, no. Um, for uh, what's it called? Splinter weapon for uh, Ooh, for, for Milani. Milani. Good call. Yeah, good and. Call. If... Check. Splinter Weapon together with Ancestor's Rage should be pretty good. I can even bring Signet of Spirits as well as an Elite. Does Splinter Weapon need to be a physical damage weapon? Um, or just e Yeah. It does, right? Uh, for 20 seconds, target ally has splinter weapon. Target ally's next four attacks. Attacks. It's just attacks. Just attacks. Okay, nice. So it doesn't need to be a physical one. Then would that work with illusionary weaponry? The um, is a hit, I, right? I don't think so because you don't attack. It doesn't count as an attack, I thought. Illusionary weaponry, does it? It counts as an attack, but the attacks always miss. Then it doesn't work. Okay, so because the attack, the attack needs to hit. To hit. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would be. That will be overpowered. <laughs> that would be so strong. Uh... So I got um, splinter weapon with ancestors, ancestors rage, which will be cast on Melanie as well. Then signet of spirits for some body blocking Ooh, and some healing. Oh, that's good. Uh, and then I think. Mesmer for some extra nuke, maybe. You, you're still running a minion master, right? Or... Yeah, he's just doing Bone Fiend. 
I think you I think it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Definitely works here. So what does icy veins do again? Is that a Remember that being strong. Uh target foe is stroke 53 for 20 seconds. Oh, it's just a uh, it's nuke on death kind of thing. All right. And then what's your Gwyn running? I think I'm going to go with some interrupts. Oh, nice. Because I don't want the resurrects to keep happening. Yep. We're going full. And then, full uh, Mesmer build. We could we could go that maybe... Ranger Spirit. What is it? Where? Oh, no, but then that would... Ah, pro... Yeah, we couldn't resurrect as well then. Oh, and then I think it would stop our minions, right? Is that how that works? Uh, no, it doesn't affect minions, I think. Just fro frozen soil, frozen soil. Uh, make sure you you can't cast Resurrect Signets, but... Okay. It might be better just to interrupt. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Gonna take... And then I think of running... Um... The ineptitude, so we also have blind and that attacks fail mm -hmm. on Orgu. It's gonna be this one. Still setting up? Uh, no, um, I think I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Are my attributes correct? Yes. Yes, yes, fine. Okay. I think I didn't bring Arcane Echo, but I think I have enough skills to spam to be effective. That was pretty mm -hmm. fun, but I wasn't actually landing a ton of Chaos Storms, so... I think it's better to just do the guaranteed... Guaranteed Energy Surge damage. Oh yeah! We're going serious now. Two failures, yeah. that's like... <laughs> <laughs> we have to. <laughs> that's a little too much. Can't allow this to happen. <laughs> Attempt number three. Normal mode. Two Guild Wars veterans. You know, that's also the fun thing. You, uh, At least I rely on the, the e-search combination so much that the game really gets a little too easy sometimes oh, so it's yeah. fun to play with relatively normal skills and then try and beat it yeah I, I don't even i feel always feel a little guilty as well running too many of the pve only skills even mm -hmm. like i'm always more proud oh, yeah like more satisfied having a hero build be effective than a player build because player builds are are just gonna mm -hmm. naturally be so overpowered Especially like when I was playing Necromancer and it's like the the most DPS you can get is involving using like Assassin's Promise and the uh what's the Ebon Vanguard Assassin or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. you're just like continuously spamming that assassin skill. Yeah, I don't I don't like a lot of those as well. Cause it's like, yeah, your whole build becomes based on spamming a, a spell that's not even really part of the game. I mean, it yeah, is, obviously, but at the same time. 
And also, it, it doesn't have anything to do with your class. You're just mm. summoning something that does damage. I, yeah. I don't like. You lose. Like there are some spells, uh, PVE only spells that I that I like, like uh, Seed of Life. It only lasts five seconds, and you heal whenever you get damage. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little broken, but it's not. It still fits the class. Yeah, it feels like a monk skill. Mm hmm. I remember back in the day, the Norn abilities that made you turn into like a bear. Mm -hmm. And then that was like one of the metas for clearing stuff is you just get like three players and you run around as bears and just AOE burst everything down. Yeah, for the, the dungeons back then. Yep. Then you had the raven skills as well. and. Yeah, they all have their different niches. And you could resurrect each other, if I'm not mistaken. So oh, it was pretty, right. pretty easy. We're doing pretty good now. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to fail again. But <laughs> famous last words. I know. E-Surge is always very good. You always like forget how powerful it is when you until you come back to it and you're like oh right this that's why this is like the meta skill to run mm. research is, is pretty disgusting <laughs> <laughs> the only time it's not that effective is against is multi like casting it multiple times against like warrior enemies because they have such a small energy pool yeah, but there's a another skill that um, you give back all the energy Whoa. to uh, enemy characters, so you can combine those two for warriors. So you keep giving sure them back the energy skill. to take it away. Yeah, I'm using. And it also does damage, I think, for energy given or something oh like that. God. I can't remember. I need to look that up. I'm using mind rack to where when they reach zero they take a hundred damage and that almost <laughs> always activates against warrior enemies we go drop your hammer boy give us one green oh he's still alive I thought we, I thought he disappeared for the YouTube people give us one green I know he dropped a key You've been getting all the keys and all the Wayfarer tokens. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought it was just me. Yeah, I've got like two minor keys. I got one Shiver Peak key. No chest though. I haven't seen a single chest. Um. More up top, where we leave Deldrimore War Camp to the right. There's a lot of chests there mm. often. Yeah, the minor keys I think for inside Soros Furnish and Silver Peaks are for outside, right? I think so. Yeah. I think we're uh, going at a faster pace. Should be. We're used to it by now. <laughs> oh, I didn't even pick this one up. I've got too many. I just didn't bother. <laughs> yeah, too many purples, man. It's a uh, it's hard life. <laughs> yeah. I think you're right, though. I think this event is increasing, like, magic find or something. Even though we haven't got yeah. a single green. We've gotten like four key drops, so that seems to be something messing with the luck. Oh yeah, maybe it's maybe it's just a boosted key drop rate. I've gotten zero though. I've never really. Oh my gosh! Oh, look, another purple <laughs> for you. <laughs> oh, <no>. Amazing. <laughs> uh, it's starting to look suspicious now. I, I was never one to really play much of the festivals and stuff, actually. Same. You had people farming the, the items for 
Until they had stacks and stacks of them, I, I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah. Or a festival would always come out whenever I'm like busy, like doing mm -hmm. the doing some main quest or doing some farm. And so I was like, uh, oh, I'll I'll get it next time. I I do like the the Halloween themes though, and, and those were always fun. So far, my favorite one is the uh, anniversary event every year. Like that one's. It almost did you uh did the last one where you got the special elite skills? Yeah, I haven't gotten. I got the item that allows me to get the special elite skill, but I haven't gotten to the part because I think it's in. Oh, we need to keep up. I think it's in the end zone area of Nightfall or something, or maybe Eye of the North. I haven't found the boss that's, yet. That's great. Then you can help me get all the elite skills because I didn't. I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's this proof of legend. Yeah, I've got one in my inventory. Yeah, and for rangers, the, the skill is crazy really good. strong. Yeah. I think the ranger and the paragon are, the, are my two favorite ones. They're just crazy powerful. I always wanted to, I don't I don't have a I don't currently have a warrior uh, character actually but the the warrior one seems fun too because it allows you to play any any weapon build mm -hmm. thought that was pretty clever the Paragon one is also really Paragon one is powered. stupid powerful I, I bought some extra character slots because I always was... for the mercenaries. Yeah, and uh, not for the mercenaries, but there's not enough slots to have one of each class. Oh right, right. Protection. Yeah. So I was always deleting a dervish, then making a warrior, deleting the warrior when he was full built, and and I, I, I did the stories, then making a dervish again. So I just bought some slots, and now I have one of each. <laughs> yeah, I I was and... always bad about making alternate characters and deleting characters, getting sick of them, forgetting where I was or what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And then I also wanted a pre-searing character permanently, so yep. that that made it hard as well. Exactly. Did you ever get the level twenty, the legendary defender Vascalon title? I have a level 16 ranger there right now, so oh, I'm nice. hoping um, to get one. I'm gonna stay a little bit behind you guys, because yeah. the AI seems to know that I'm a monk. <laughs> and I think now that I have Milani, I can send her after the uh, priests without worrying too much. Yeah, we have a bunch of interrupts, so I doubt we're gonna see uh, a lot of Resurrects go off. Gosh, the, the numbers, the damage numbers are crazy. <laughs> really, the Mesmer has no business doing like better nuke damage than the Elementalist. I think, I think it was a mistake to buff it this much, but at the same time, it's pretty fun. <laughs> The biggest problem was the AI change because elementalists can still do a lot more damage, but they changed the AI from enemies that they run out of AOE damage. It didn't used to be like True. that. You, you could ball up all the enemies to one meteor shower and they would all die, but now they run out. So an elementalist is, is a lot less useful now. Well, yeah, the meteor shower is a pretty much a useless ability. I've tried to make mm -hmm. it work several times because it's so cool, but yeah, they just they they tried to do everything they could to remove farming from the game. Yeah, but then they they come out with a skill like Shadow Form and and <laughs> basically make people invulnerable to everything, and then I'm like, okay, but then at least let the Elementalist do some damage as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with that. I think they wanted, I think. They made the assassin too squishy or something, so they thought, okay, let's let's make them like tanky but like cool tanky. 
and then no one uses <laughs> the shadow form except for farming. I also think it's hard to 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 predict what players can come up with. True. Like how how broken players can yeah. can find things and and like combining it with elementalist <laughs> or skills so that the cooldown time gets reset so it's permanent instead of <laughs> instead of only 20 seconds. And then with I think it's hard as a stuff. developer. Like how 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 deep are go are my players gonna gonna dive into the skills? <laughs> exactly. That must have been kind of fun and disappointing and annoying at the same time. To like you have one they would design a skill probably with a certain functionality in mind and then players find a way to just totally abuse it in a totally different purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, dang it, I didn't think about that. Yeah, because if, if you look at Shadow Form on its own, it's like, okay, you get a limited amount of time of invulnerability. Yeah. But it has a long cooldown, so you can't really do... Uh, use it a lot, but then you have an assassin skill that has the cooldown of your next skill. Then you have some elementalist skill that reduces the cooldown, and yeah, <laughs> before you know it, it's, it's a permanent vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, and then consumables came out too. It's... Yeah, I, can... I don't really know why they did that. Yeah, Th that was the point for me where I was doubting like, is this really necessary? I think the consumables, the only thing I can think of is they were trying to, like with Eye of the North, it seems like they were testing a lot of systems that they were planning on implementing for Guild Wars 2. Mm -hmm. And so they yeah, were true. just kind of seeing how players use them and react to them, and then probably testing their, I don't know, programming or something of the consumables. But that's that's the only thing I can imagine, because that's basically what dungeons were in Eye of the North. They they function almost exactly the same as the dungeons in Guild Wars 2. Yeah, I never got to dungeons in Guild Wars 2. Yeah. I, I started, I think maybe two years ago I tried it. Yeah. When it was free to play on Steam for a while. Oh. And Is I it not... Just you mean like, like the full version was free? Yeah. Oh, I got I a think gold. Think it still item. is. I think you could just install it on Steam and. and yeah. You just have to buy the the expansion packs or whatever. Yeah, I think called. you're right. The dungeons. Look, like... another item for you. <laughs> Dang it! I, I tried to pick it up before you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, keep him talking. He's not gonna. <laughs> Let's see. It's an it's an air wand. 10% chance of half skill recharge and 13 requirement. That's pretty bad. Rex 13 is always annoying. Yeah. But uh, as far as the dungeons go in Guild Wars 2, like unsurprisingly, they were my favorite part of the game because they felt more similar to the gameplay style of Guild Wars 1. But then, mm. yeah, they're basically dead. They're basically dead content. Because most players opt for like the crazy open world bosses and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. A level dupe. Getting those skill points. I've got like 76 unspent skill points on this character. 141. <laughs> <laughs> I think my assassin, because I, 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 uh, I did the survivor title farm yeah and i think my assassin has like 500 or something unspent skill points something crazy i think i i don't know i ha i have to check on my ranger he was the first character i made on guild wars and he's oh, been my yeah. main forever so i think he's kind of and i used to do like underworld runs with him oh as a trapper that'll be fun to do I've never really done any of those super elite, like Underworld or the other ones that Fisher you Fisher of Woe? Yeah, I never did them. I tried to do the I... ones in Nightfall, but I wasn't very successful at them. 
now it's hard because you need a full group to to really do them fast but i remember having an assassin that had like all the correct skills and i then it was my job to to ball up all the all the enemies from one part of Fisher of Woe, uh -huh. and then just have an elementalist nuke them all. And then you could clear them. It's like a fast clear, right? Yeah, and then it's like 30 minutes instead of a couple of hours to clear the entirety of uh, Fisher of Woe. Because you had three assassins, and they all went to a different part, and you just had some DPS, and they stayed in one part, and you just pulled the entirety of the dungeon towards them, and then they nuked them all. Yeah, that's like content I I never experienced. It'd be cool to do it. It was fun for some ectos and some what was the other thing? What dropped from Fisher of Woe? It wasn't ectos. It was um Fisher of Woe drop shard something. The only thing I can think of is ectos. It also could drop ectos, but there was one thing that dropped more there. Hurry up and put some chains on this guy. We can just skip this problem. <laughs> go. I got the I got the recording <laughs> of it before. Did you pick up the master the gearbox yeah. order? Okay. Yeah, now I can carry stuff as well. We're we're so pro at this. But I'm definitely going to put him down for that battle because I had like no energy when I can't use my staff. I mean, they're really going to have to try to kill us now because I can keep healing I think almost forever nice. with this build. So. How is uh, Milani's health looking? I haven't really paid attention to her. Has she been staying healthy? Yeah, never dropped below, I think, 70% or something. Sweet. Looks like we're taking some damage below the bridge here. I always did not like this, like, illusion of verticality when you can just cast spells on them like that. Mm. It looks like Orizar is kind of stuck there. Is he moving? Oh, he is moving. Okay. That would be ideal for a I while. <laughs> Unless he gets bugged and just refuses to ever move. Yeah. Why is he bleeding? Why, why, why? Yeah, where is he? He's on the bridge getting attacked. Oh my fucking god. Not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. There's a bunch of them. Where did they come what? from? What? No. He's gone. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> they came there was like behind. 20 people on the bridge. Oh my gosh. Where are, where did they come from? Look at so they spawn and come up behind us there. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people on the bridge. Dude, this is.